Hello everybody, I am going to show you how to get rid of the annoying media offline. So sometimes when you start your project and you go to start, what happens is you get question marks on all of your files and also you'll get this red screen that has a bunch of different uh, languages that comes up and it looks really confusing and Essentially what it's saying is that it remembers your files being in a certain place. The files are either no longer there or the link between them got broken. And now it's, it's asking you to relink those files. So if that happens, what I want you to do is if you get to this screen and it's asking you immediately, always have display exact name here. But if you don't see it immediately, just hit skip all, let the thing load, and once, the once everything loads, you'll be able to see uh, the files that are unlinked. So I can see that the first file here that's unlinked is 9138. If I hit Command A on the keyboard and right click. I can go to Link Media and it's going to try to find the first clip here. So, 9138. Again, display exact name only. And let's go down and see. So, what this is telling me is I'm not in the correct place. The correct place that you're supposed to be saving all your stuff is the NHS Technology Local. But if you save it and you start working off of NHS Technology NAS, it's always going to, to unlink your media. So you're always going to have to do this. So that's why we have to save our stuff. We have to copy and paste our files over to local. So we go to NAS 2015 Intro to Biography Period 2 Music videos what? Green team? Oh, green, yeah. Green team video. I'll see somewhere in here. <laughs> That's 9138 is right here. So it goes the first thing right here over here. It's weird. It usually says where is this file, but it's it, up here, but it's a little glitch. But always goes for the top file, 9138. If I double click that, it's going to say, oh, okay. I know where that uh, piece of media is. I'm going to go search around there for all the other ones. And now, because we had everything selected, it's going to go through over here and locate all of our media. That's it. And again, you're going to have to do this every single time if you're trying to uh, edit off the NAS. And that's why we don't want to edit off the NAS. We want to copy and paste those things over 